What's going on, my beautiful people? This your boy, the Drunken Sailor, guys. In this video here, we got to talk about social media, aka TikTok, Instagram, I mean, Twitter. We got to talk about these social media sites and our young people, mainly, aka our young girls. They are describing their minds with a lot of a lot of craziness as we know the trans movement getting pushed through TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that beauty standards getting pushed like that the young girls are trying to keep up the beauty standards oh if you think your boy oh you need you can you can transition over to this instead of being a tom remember tomboys girls you be tomboys used to play in the dirt like that until they got old enough body start changing and stuff like that then they mostly love the attention from boys so they start dressing up like girls it happened. It's a fact. They grew out of it. Most of them did. Ninety-five percent grew out of it to be become women. Some of them didn't, but it's very few. That don't mean they have to get PB boxes or any drug like that to be changed over transit over to a man. Don't need none of that. And this story here from New York Post here: How TikTok brainwashed me into <clears throat> being transgender. Now she's trying to go back, detransmission back into a woman. Very sad stories here. And we're going to go over this today how dangerous these social media sites, mainly TikTok, is feeding this crap, feeding it to the young kids and parents and adults. We are not controlling this or really keeping an eye on what our kids are doing. They can easily be lost, lost to the internet. You got to be parents, you got to watch and control. And maintain what your kids are doing online. Nine out of ten, they probably shouldn't be on none of these sites. But if they are, if you are gonna lie on it, you better be monitoring like a mug. Better be controlling, which is hard to do. Best not even have them on there if you can't help it. But hey, parents are having their kids be their best friends, basically. Oh, do whatever, just so they don't like them, don't have no issues. That's the problem. Be a parent and not the friends. You gotta say no and gotta mean it. Can't have that, can't be on that side, gotta mean it. Stop being the friends. This is why I broken home in this country. This is screwing this country as well. But let's go over the story here. That's another video. Let's go over the story here. So sad. And that shows she have a video as well. She have so let's watch the video and I'll go over more the story. Make sure that's all. As some of you might know, my name is Ash and I am a detransitioner. I spent a lot of time on the internet, specifically TikTok, way more than I should have rather than going out in the real world, especially with COVID and everything else that was going on. Now at the time there were a million, million videos of all these trans people coming out. And because I was so unhappy with myself and who I was, I thought that that might be what was wrong with me. And I convinced myself that that's what was wrong with me and that's what would fix me. And I went really, really, really far to pass as a male to the point where nobody that I knew knew that I was born a female. Here's a little picture of me from that time. Had the facial hair and everything. After about two years of living as a male, I realized I was wrong. But I didn't come out about that right away. I stayed living as male for another year before I really finally... And you see the sadness in this, guys. Catch with COVID. COVID, them shutting down the schools, shutting everything down, really destroyed a lot of these Gen Zers, everything. They destroyed it. And they know that's wrong shutting down the, the country. Especially the schools. The kids need interaction. They need that learning. They need that, they need that growth for education for their minds and stuff. And the two, three years that we were shut down, it destroyed these kids being online all the time. They just went down rabbit holes, man. It's so sad. And like I said, TikTok, TikTok, nobody under 18 should be on TikTok. Nobody. I don't care what you say. TikTok, Twitter, shouldn't even be on now. Why? Why? Especially nowadays when you got iPhones, you got chat, different things like that. You don't need to be on social media. You don't need to be on the internet. At all. We need, guys, we got to stop this. Don't kids on 18, they ain't grown. No, they don't need to be on social media site. I don't care. Oh, my friends got it. I don't care. Don't need to be on it. What's good at it? You can talk to your friends at school. You can talk to them. Chat, text, you can call them. Social media, no way. You can be on the internet, just not on social media site. You don't need none of that crap. Especially TikTok. People, do you know how crazy and dangerous TikTok is? The feed and crazy 
that can be pushed to you. You can be like, well, if we do, we can set up um, the kids' um, profiles and stuff like that. Kids know how to get around that stuff. Most parents don't even know nothing about the basic technology of the phone. You can put up kid-friendly, this set up passcodes and stuff. Kids can easily get around that stuff. Easily. So let's be real here. Best not even set them up at all. Doesn't need a smartphone. Boy. Just give them a regular phone. You don't need a smartphone. Cut the internet off it. Don't need it. All you need to know how to contact is mercy. Or something to go on. We need to stop being parents. This is sad. This is fair use as well. Decided that I needed to do this. And it was one of the most scary things that I ever did. I faced so much backlash. I found it that people are so quick to accept trans people, but so quick to criticize detransitioners. And that's another thing, too. You see the stories all in the media. Oh, he transitioned. Yeah, yeah. But you hardly see anybody stories about anybody that detransitioned. They outlaw. Oh, you're, oh, you're a transphobe. This and this and this. Oh, they they blacklist them, but some be like the black sheep. Like, no. Why would you blacklist somebody who went down the journey and trying to get back? They're trying to warn other people. Hey, be careful. What? Be careful about going down this road. It's not going to make you happy. It's not going to fix any problems you might have had. But you don't. Like I said, you don't see money these stories. You see everybody the trans. Oh, he transitioned. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah. But anybody trying to detransition back, quick it. It's quickest. They're trying to kill the story. They don't even want to sit talk about it. Why is that? Trying to warn people, trying to get people, hey, be careful going down the road. They don't want you to warn nobody. They want you to go flood front into it. And then once you do go down the road, there's no coming back. Once you start doing the pills, the surgeries and stuff, there's no coming back. No matter how hard you try, once you F your body up like that with the pill, drugs, and medication, whatever you're doing, there's no coming back from it. It's zero coming back from it. She can be messed up for the rest of her life. Let's read more of the story and why, why she went. At the age of 13, Ash was severely under the influence, but not drugs or alcohol, uh, but from TikTok. Social media is basically a, a, it's a control subject. Just like drugs and alcohol. This social media site is probably more addicting than drugs and alcohol. That's the scary part. That's why kids should not, anybody under 18, really under 25, should not be on these social media sites like this. Should not. She told the Post that trans, <laughs> trend centers on popular apps wrongfully convinced her that she was transgender. See? They push it. Hey, it feel good. Hey, you could be a boy. Hey, they push it. Make it feel good. Make it feel good. And over time, you're seeing people, yeah, 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 celebrating it. You think it's okay to, to do it. You remember peer pressure back in the day? Now it's peer pressure. It's basically something now. Yeah, you could do it, queen. Go ahead and do it. You a boy. Go ahead and take them pills. Go and take that to our toss, steroids and tosmo. Take it. Take it. Go. Go ahead. Be you, be you, girl. Your boy now, your pronouns, he, him, yeah. Your boy, accept it. We got your back. We got your back. Don't be ashamed. Open up. Be free. They, they make you feel good online. And when you go through it, and when you regret it, it's all crickets. You're alone now. With all that support and all that, yeah, yeah, what all them people went at? Where they all they went to? They gone, right? Once you stay off that path, you're on your own. And that's the sad part about this. They push you through, you have a million people, yeah, yeah, and you going down the journey. But once you say that, nah, I made a mistake, you're on your own. That's a sad reality, guys, of all this transgender, all this social media crap. It's a danger. It's evil. Got to be careful with all this stuff. Really do. After becoming depressed at 12, Depressed at 12 years old. What kid depressed from what? From 12. You got zero reason to be depressed at all. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Zero reason to be depressed. This is how social media is. It's, it's sad. She's depressed at 12. Lord have mercy. I struggled and wanted to save my life too. It was just the pandemic that the Gen Z joined the crowd. 
She joined the crowd of TikTok. I spent the majority of a reaction recreation hours scrolling to social media, but virtual hashtags such as trans ginger and trans had amassed a staggering 21.5 billion views and stuff. She just went through with it. Seeing the TikTok, once you get a feed or something you want to do on TikTok, they'll keep feeding you it. Feeding you the trans ginger, the, the feel good story of, yeah, yeah, me, yeah, me. I went through it, God. You can do it too. See? And that's it. And I, according to P. Risha Center, TikTok had a mass impact on up to 67% of teens 13 to 17 to not be on TikTok. A 20, 2021 study on the conducts by the Shanghai Unit International School in China found that the digital space contained over exaggerated content that shape teenagers' values in misleading ways. And China don't have none of this crazy crap on their apps or the, the people watching none of this craziness. Only in the West. TikTok will find in China. But you bet they know. The people in China ain't watching none of this craziness. They're watching educational stuff. Propaganda for their country. They're not having the trans and this gay crap or this craziness on none of their apps. They block all that crap. Just in the West, we got it all. 13, 17 year olds, girls, transgender, or sexualizing girls. Oh, you need to do this and this and this and this. Destroying them, screwing our young girls. And I'm saying young girls, I have two young girls. So I have to be do whatever I can to protect them from what's gonna come. Gotta be parents. Don't care if they like it, don't care if they don't like it because they're friends all on it, don't matter. Gotta be parents, guys. And this story here, like I said, she's not. Like I said, look at this. She's never gonna recover from this. No matter what the that de transition stuff they take to get up trying to get back to a woman, she's done. She probably said, "I probably don't have kids. Who knows the effects long term of this? This is not a game. And well, who's pushing this stuff so hard on the West? The de transition. I know they're trying to depopularize it." the world but this is sick this is evil and they all know it everybody know it you, if you're a man you can't turn into a woman if you're a woman you can't turn into a man time to wake up people you can't do it you better off just being gay than wearing the clothes why change your body why chop it up take pills to affect your body you know it's coming back from it you only get one body well, God always made you once he made you the man he made you the woman that's it. You talk mutating it, messing with it, messing with nature. You don't. You gonna go back to where it was. Most nine out of ten times, especially as kids. Anybody under twenty five shouldn't be doing none of this stuff. At least wait till you get older and live through some spirit. Get teenager. Why? And some of these states are forcing parents to agree with their kids with this that's the scary part guys we need to talk about as well in another video why some of these states california washington state uh, colorado they probably new york if some of the parents don't agree with their, their kids new gender or stuff like that they take the kids what kind of effed up is this this is what we going to like it's a 10 15 years ago i'm almost 40 i don't remember none of this crap going on all of a sudden, this is getting pushed seen everywhere. It's one thing for adults to go through it. Kids and teenagers, why? Why do you even know about none of this stuff? Getting groomed and getting pushed into this crap social media and people around them. It ain't been them to do this crap. That's the sad part. But guys, what do you think? Asha, I'm going to say she detransitioning back. But her story, it's, gonna be a, it's not going to be on mainstream media it's not gonna be pushed like it should be the people to hear a story it's gonna be a, like a little dot little dot oh she transitioning back oh yeah okay whatever oh yeah he transitioned and many more people found this person it's a 15 minutes of fame trans that's all transition was transgender is basically you mean you remember back in the 90s 2000 being gay i'll come out closet you just get your 15 minutes of fame. Now nobody care about you. You gay? Okay. 
you know, they're in a rush for it. No attention. Yay, celebration. Okay. So they had to be like, I'm trans. I'm this. I'm 15 gender. This, 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 this. Pronouns. They had to keep coming up with something new to get, time to get attention. That's all it is. Attention. Kids, people, they want attention. They're not getting it from home, whoever. They're going to get it from people online or everywhere else. They don't even know. Them. They're kids, though. Should be protected. But yet they're getting they're getting preyed on. Guys, what do you think, guys? You think think we need to stop all this stuff for kids, or you think yeah, it's whatever? Let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Share me on my journey, guys, because I'm trying to get the 500 subscriber by the end of summer, guys. Help me with that. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let me know how you think the video went. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Mm -hmm.